I'm going to practice decision making with Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, I want to force hands so that I can practice playing in a tournament where they have prizes. A lot of times they'll have maybe a prize for the first hand in a category, or maybe they'll even pick a specific hand. I'm just going to practice the category level. So I have strips for each category on the card. Since we're playing two hands at one time, I'll pick six and then we'll force those hands just for practice. If you have a set at home, try it yourself. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Three, six, nine. Addition. Year. Quince. Consecutive run. Winds and dragons. Oh. Okay, we have. Well, I I have a hard time with addition because I never remember the numbers, and I love quince, but you got to have jokers. Let's see what we can do here. We'll just say we're the dealer, so I'm going to get 28 random tiles for each one of these. Okay, here we go. So we've got winds and dragons, and that's on here. And then we have 369 pairs even. I think we should do a 369 and a winds and dragons. Now the winds and dragons, winds and dragons, news with dragons. We wouldn't be able to use that. And we'd have to use these here. That's pretty slim. It's very slim. Okay, let's just pull up the other suits and get the 369 together and see what shakes out. Three, six, nine. Three, six. Maybe even, oh, the pair hands are not up there. I was thinking the 369 pair hand. This is pretty close to the 369 pair hand, but there's a lot of options in there for the 369 category. So I think I would definitely do 369. Now, for the remainder, let's see. We have no jokers. So I don't think a quint is going to work here. We do have one, two, eight. I'm thinking a year hand. Yep. Yep, yep. So let's figure this out. Can't use, we only need news for the year hand. We need a north. We do have the 2018 here. And then I would hold these. So hold these for options. This is how I would do it. Okay. News year hand. Hold these for options. 369 category. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. If I had to pick a hand, I might play the hand using these flowers, in which case I would keep the red if I can get the nine crack and hold these as options. We definitely have more than just five discards. We probably have more like, well, 
let's just say 12 ish but I think that's what I would do here year and 369 year and 369 if you would do something differently with these tiles write force one and what you would do oh we want to hold that mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay on to force two Okay, addition, we have two flowers. I think we might need to force addition because flowers don't come around for me much. We do have two jokers, so we need to keep quince in mind. Consecutive run, I think is pretty easy. I think I'd rather wait on that. Then we have winds and dragons. I don't think we have enough winds and dragons. So I think we're gonna try to make addition and quince work. So let's see where our multiples are. We have seven, six, four seven six four there's an addition hand with seven five twelve so if we do seven seven five twelve seven five twelve whichever one comes in let's see what we're left with Look at all that two, four, six, eight there. Okay. Seven, five, 12 with options right here. That's what I would try here, I think. Addition. Now, Quint. Three, six, nine, Quint. We kind of need those flowers though. We need the flowers down here. 369 Quint. Or hold these for the Quint. Maybe with the Wind and Dragon Quint. Either 369 Quint or Wind and Dragon Quint. In which case I would hold these in case the force came in. And even one of these, whichever one yeah, I think that's what I would do. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of, require lots of fancy footwork with decision making through pick and discard to make a quint work. So what I would do is I would focus on addition with one of these. When I start getting multiples with either suit, I'm not too concerned about the two that can come that could even be the the winning tile maybe so whichever suit comes in i would use the other tiles up here for maybe a quint and the quint that i would pick you know what oh we don't have all the sevens i was thinking maybe we could do the sevens quint like numbers with sevens i don't think so uh, i think three six nine or the wind quint and we have one two three multiples to choose from for the numbers we just have to pair up with the winds and dragons discard these until we run out of discards this is going to take a lot of work lots of fancy footwork here but i think that's what i would try to do okay quint in addition i just want to quickly see really there's not much consecutive run capability here there are really odds big odds a little bit of six there's some six seven eight nine in here but that would leave only let's see six seven 
the, the numbers don't really mesh right for, for the consecutive runs because we would want to leverage the sevens. I was thinking we could do six, seven, eight, nine, but we wouldn't be able to use all the multiples. I think I would stick with this plan. It's a bit jumbly, but I think it could work. Quince and addition. If you would do something differently on this one, write force two and what you would do. have two wins. Oh, there's a dragon. Okay. We got to make these work right here. All right. Dra uh, wins and dragons. N-E. We have N-E. N-E with red. Let's see if we have like numbers any, anywhere. What do we have? We've got three. Oh my gosh, we have a Kong of threes. Oh my goodness. We have all the sixes. Okay, let's try east and west with sixes. Maybe east and west with sixes. East and west with sixes. And then... Oh, east and west with sixes for the winds, and then one, two, three for consecutive. I would hold these. I would even hold this. If we could get the green dragon, we could even do the one, two, three knitted hand, the second from the bottom. Crack, bam, crack, dragon. One, two, three. Three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I was just thinking maybe we could do north and south with threes instead and then do five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's count discards. Okay, so we have Joker bait, five, eight discards. Let's see if we do north and south with threes even though we have a gap north and south with threes we need three bams and then this would have to be joker bait oh that's a lot of joker bait yeah that's that's worse oh yeah that's way worse Let's see, wait a minute, I had a whole handful of tiles over here. Okay, let's just see. Can use the flower there. All this would be joker bait here. That's kind of a lot of joker bait. Okay. Six, seven. Okay, in order now. Six, seven, five, six, four, five, four, four, five, six, seven, four, five, bam, six, seven. These would all have to go away. I think the other way was better because this is even, this is a, a bigger mess. 
don't you think? East and west with sixes. And then one, two, three, four. Or three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Okay, this is pretty bleak, but this is maybe even a little better. Three, two, three. Okay, how about two, three, four with dragons. That's a lot of discards, but there's some potential there. I would hold that. Hold all that. Two, three, four, five, work it out. East and West with sixes, Joker, bait, discards. That's how I would do it. Boy, this one was really tough. Winds and Dragons consecutive run. That's how I would do it. What about you? Would you do this or would you do something different? If you would do something different, write Force 3 and what you would do with all these tiles. We got to do Winds and consecutive run. Do you see why I like to do practice? That's kind of overwhelming and intimidating. All those tiles, oh my goodness. And you're doing this with someone opposing you and they're working with the same tiles. So you really have to be shrewd and make really good decisions with the tiles you have. If you have a set at home, try this exercise and let me know if it improves your confidence. If you haven't learned how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. This was designed by Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. So thank you, Gladys. If you uh, like to play in tournaments, check out Mahjong Madness. She does tournaments all over the nation. I've been to one. I hope to go to more. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.